I always check my kids' candy for poisons and razor blades. Hold on, kids, you can't eat that yet. I got to check in for poisons and razor blades. They come down later on. Where's all our candy? And we live in a pretty bad neighborhood. I'll be honest with you. I swear we're going to move next year. I promise that. They ruined everything? No, not everything. They didn't touch that box of raisins in there, but they... Tell you what, them Butterfingers, they was riddled with poisons in there. I can't eat like that no more. It sucks getting fat, man. I'm trying to lose some weight. I got to do something. It's ridiculous. Ugh. I got on the trampoline the other day with my kids. I had two jumps. Had to get off. I wasn't tired or nothing. I had to get a ladder to get my boy out of a tree. And it stinks getting older and fatter. And I used to be something back in the day, boys. I used to be something. I did. I used to run cross country. You Google it. I think I still hold the state record for taking the most shits in the woods. But I'm on a diet now. I'm eating nothing but fruit loops. But my wife has me on a... My wife has me on a diet now where I can have one cheat day. So I can have a hamburger with the cheese and the bun one day a week. Or any time I drive by a fast food restaurant when she's not with me in the car. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> she's a stickler, too. I'll tell you what. She'd be up here sleeping 2.30 in the morning. The dog go down there and bark at the door for 10 minutes. She don't hear nothing. She's racked out. I got to go down there and let the dog out. So next day I go down there, I'm kind of hungry. I pour a little, little bowl of Cap'n Crunch down there. I hear, get out of Cap'n Crunch! <laughs> what the hell? I should have barked when I poured that Cap'n Crunch in there, but I should have done. It sucks getting old and fat, I tell you. I remember when my beard turned white, my, my, my wife was like trying to comfort me. Oh, that's okay, honey. I like somebody with a little salt and pepper in their beard. Made me feel a little better. Then she goes, it's the corner in your teeth that's disgusting. <laughs> I was going to say broccoli, but none of y'all believe I eat broccoli. All right, so I'd say that. Uh, here's the thing about getting older. You start losing your daggum memory. I, can't, I have a hard time remembering stuff now. It's so frustrating. Have you ever left your groceries on the roof of your car? Yeah, for three weeks? You ever did I'm a hypochondriac. I always think I'm dying of something, freaking out. Had a red blotch right there one time for a week. It's freaking me out. So I go get a biopsy on it. Tested positive for picante sauce. <laughs> Idiot. Cost me $1,000 to do that. Good news is he wrote me a prescription for napkins, so that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a wedding invitation from somebody that you barely know? the hell? It's like getting a bill in the mail. <laughs> I hate weddings. I was the one a while back. Holy smokes, I ain't seen the bride was overweight, but whew. My buddy caught the garter belt. He's still been using it to tie up cordwood on his pickup truck. <laughs> Boy, these were some big... You should have seen the bridesmaids. Their corsages was personal pan pizzas. All right. <laughs> I ain't kidding with you. They all went to school together. They were in the same sorority, so they had their sorority shirts on, you know, Thelma, Ada, Tata. <laughs> My uncle just got married, 72 years old. My golly, he ran out of Viagra on the honeymoon. So he ended up having to use a can to fix a flat. I know, make a long story short, he overinflated and uh, spent the rest of the night at Jiffy Lube having to get a patch put on him down there. <laughs> hey, this is crazy. True story, check this out. My mother-in-law, last month, won $400 in a hot dog eating contest. It's <laughs> unbelievable, $400. 40 hot dogs in 10 minutes she ate. I couldn't believe it. Huh, my mother-in-law, not talking for 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. Oh, 
she talked. I know. She can talk. She's the only woman at the beach getting melanoma on her tongue. All right, I guarantee you. I'm not a big gambler. Uh, my, my grandma, holy Michael. I'm not saying she's addicted to blackjack, but she's got a medical alert bracelet on that says, in case of emergency, split the kings. <laughs> My wife likes to go with me when I go to Las Vegas because she likes to go see the Chippendales. Yeah. You know why she likes going to the Chippendales? She didn't marry very good. <laughs> she married a Chunkendale. She gives me money to put my clothes back on, but she does. I like going out there to Las Vegas. That's where you see all the 1970s, 80s classic rock bands singing out there. Now, I like them bands. Hey, only difference between seeing them bands now and 30 years ago, 30 years ago, go backstage, smell like pot everywhere. Now it smells like pot and Ben Gay, you go back to them things. They all still got long hair, too. Ain't that something? Huh. Unfortunately, it's coming out their nose and ears on most of them fellas in there. Here's one thing you never want to hear a classic rock band say when you go to the concert. Here's one off our new album. <laughs> Honey, let's go get a beer. Nobody wants to hear that bullshit. <laughs> I went to see Molly Hatchet one day. That was awesome right there. I like old Molly Hatchet. You know what was cool about it? After the concert was over, true story, I got to go in the lobby and take a picture with all the cardboard cutouts of the original member. <laughs> I like going to the buffets out there, the casino buffets, they delicious. You ever been to the all-you-can-eat pasta buffet at the casino? Holy smokes, that's the day I got red flagged by the plumbers union right there. I tell you what. Ooh, I had to keep a hard hat by the toilet for three weeks after I went in there. You ever use all the paper and have to end up finishing it with the tube? Have you ever done that at all, anybody? I haven't done it. I'm asking if you've had to do that. I ain't done that. We got a winner right here. We got a winner. I don't eat good at Christmas, I'll tell you that much. I got a Fitbit on Christmas Eve. I put it on, it dialed 911. You know what killed me at Christmas last year, food-wise? The Kentucky Fried Chicken 12-day advent calendar. <laughs> Holy smokes, them five golden wings had me turtle doving all the way to the bathroom. I guarantee you. I ain't kidding. I could have dropped my pants and dropped a partridge out of a pear tree right there. I guarantee you. Every time I start getting a little too fat at Christmas, so my kids will buy me a Christmas gift to hint around that I'm too fat. You know what they got me last year? A Petri dish with flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> we ran our kids up to the Walmart last year to see the Christmas village up there. We wasn't there more than 10 minutes. Somebody was already running a meth lab out of the gingerbread house. <laughs> I mean, I love shopping at Walmart, but dadgum, that's like a meth maker's paradise in there, ain't it? <laughs> Walmart's the only store in the world you can go and see somebody buying 16 boxes of cough syrup and some garden hose. Nobody thinks that's weird. <laughs> you ever shot at Walmart after midnight? Holy smokes. Oh, they ought to charge a cover charge in there after midnight. That gum, it's like a casting call for Ripley's Believe It or Not in that place. If you've never been to the circus, go to Walmart after midnight. You're bound to see a couple of bearded women, a toothless wonder, and the fattest man in the world on a scooter up there. They got d good deals after midnight, though. Last time I was up there after midnight, 75% off self-esteem. That's right, I walked in there like this, I walked out like this, I thought this was good. That's right. You can get everything at Walmart, except good customer service. <laughs> Holy smokes. Here's my impression of the hiring practices at Walmart. 
Well, let me ask you this. You ever cared about anything in your entire life? <laughs> no? All right. You start Tuesday, all right? <laughs> we'll put you in the DVD department. My wife wanted to go to Walmart. She's trying to find the cheapest mop she could get for something she's doing. So we go to Walmart, get a mop, $4.95. Go up there to pay for the mop, and the lady goes, you want to buy the protection on this? <laughs> you know what? I think we're going to risk it this time. All right. Got a 95% chance we're going to throw that away when we're done with it anyway. So. <laughs> 